Recently, Duo have released a new feature for the Duo Network Gateway, or the DNG, that allows you to connect to SMB file shares without the need for a VPN. This video is going to focus on how we can configure that today using a DNG that's already pre-configured. We're just going to configure the SMB relay application in Duo and look at its functionality and see how it works. The Duo documentation for the Duo Network Gateway has been updated, as you can see on your screen now. So you can follow this documentation through should you wish to do so. So to start off with, we will go to our admin panel, our Duo admin panel. And once logged in, we need to now go to Applications, Protect an Application. And if you just type in SMB, you should see the application Duo Network Gateway SMB Relay. Let's click Protect on that. Our client ID, secret and API hostname will need shortly. So we'll just remember that. As I always recommend when creating new applications, create a new application policy. So I'm just going to create a new one. I'm just going to leave it at that now. Once your application policy is set for the new SMB application, scroll down and you can make changes here as well to the application name. There are a few other options that we're not going to focus on today. I will leave the rest as they are for the purpose of this demonstration. Click Save. And that's our Duo SMB Relay application created within the Duo admin panel. Now we need to access the Duo Network Gateway GUI. Once you've accessed your Duo Network Gateway, do ensure that your DNG is up to date with the latest version because there is the new feature for the SMB to be uh, added. If you can't see uh, the API settings as well as sessions, and if you click on applications and you can't see SMB, then you may need to upgrade to the latest version. So do check that. Once on the DNG, let's now navigate to applications SMB, and we're going to add an SMB relay. We'll take our Duo integration key, which is our client ID. We'll take the client secret, which is to be put into the Duo secret key. And then we'll take the API host name and we'll paste that in there. We do have the ability to enable frameless authentication for this application. I'm just gonna go ahead and select that. For the external URL, we need to make sure that we have a CNAME DNS record that points to the A record of your domain. So in my example, my CNAME is SMB dot network uk, and the value of that is going to point to Paul dot network uk. I'm going to choose generate a certificate from Let's Encrypt. Application type is already set to SMB, and then on the internal host section what we want to do is we want to add the host name or ip as well as the port for the internal smb server so in my case it's going to be dng smb demo network .com. and for the port we'll specify 139 as well as 445 and then once you're done adding that or adding your SMB servers and your mappings, just click add SMB relay. And if you're using a Let's Encrypt certificate, that will successfully complete should you have the correct entry within your DNS. So you can see that the relay has been successfully added. So now what we need to do is we need to go across to 
subdomains and under this section you need to make sure that you add your external to internal subdomain mappings or DNS mappings and as you can see here I have an NS record externally that is internet.networkwizkid.co.uk and the internal subdomain is networkwizkid.com. Once you've done that just update or save and check your configuration. We'll just press update in this case and it's updated and now we should be ready to test. If we just go back to applications here just so you can see the um, the names, the, the mappings between the external and internal domains for the SMB file server that I've set up. What we're going to do now is we're going to test this. So on my test machine, I'm just going to now try to map a network drive. And what we need to do is we need to give it the, we need to specify the external URL. So in my case, it's going to be the internal host name. So DNG SMB demo dot internet dot network dot co dot UK. So that's going to take this part, the external subdomain here. followed by the name of the share. And then once you've done that, let's click finish. And now you can see that I'm taken now to our duo single sign on. So I'll sign in now, complete two factor authentication. And now you can see that we've successfully authenticated. I just have to change this to that. And when we click finish, we should connect. It's asking me for my username again. And because I've already authenticated with the two factor authentication, just before I change the backslash, you can see now I have successfully authenticated without a VPN to a remote SMB file share. So you can see it's actually mapped to DNG SMB demo.internet.networkwizkid.co.uk. And you can see, I can see that there's a test file in there as well. So very straightforward to do and perfect for anybody that wants to allow SMB file share access without the need for a VPN solution using the Duo Network Gateway.